Okie dokie. Let's read this quote first. This is by Aristotle, and he was murdered for being a critical thinker, basically. Okay, social versus unsocial. Beast or God? Man is by nature a social animal. An individual who is unsocial naturally and not accidentally is either beneath our notice or more than human. Society is something that precedes the individual. Anyone who either cannot lead the common life or is so self-sufficient as not to need to and therefore does not partake of society is either a beast or a god by Aristotle. Now what does he mean by this quote? In order to understand this quote we have to have critical thinking skills. Social versus unsocial. Beast or God? Man, or what Aristotle means by man, is most of humanity is by nature a social animal. So, what does it mean to be a social animal? <laughs> or a social human being? A social human being is somebody who wants to be with other humans. So an individual who is unsocial naturally and not accidentally, of course they are very few and far between, is either beneath our notice. So what does he mean by beneath our notice? He means beneath the notice of most of humanity who are social by nature. So, if you're social by nature, then the ones who are unsocial naturally are beneath your notice. You won't notice them. You won't understand them. And you don't really care whether they're, well, I shouldn't say that. You do care, you judge, because they're so few and far between that they're different. They're very, very, very different than the social people out there. So, they're beneath our notice, and they're more than human. Now that's an interesting statement. They are more than human. Why did he say that? Aristotle had a reason for saying that. Because society usually precedes an individual. Anyone who either cannot lead the common life found in society, or is so self-sufficient as not to need to, and therefore does not partake of society, is either a wild beast or a god. Now all the statements in red I have put in there, or all the words in red I've inserted so that you could get the meaning easier hopefully. So, let's look at that for a minute. Most of humanity, by nature, is social. They need other people. And yeah, I mean, most people on earth need some quiet time once in a while, but they're still social. They'll have a little bit of quiet time, and then they want to be among people. They want to be among society. That's where they get their energy from, usually. So yeah, I mean, 
every social person needs some quiet time at some point. But the ones who are unsocial naturally and not accidentally, they are actually born that way. And there's so few of them that they fall beneath the radar of society. Most of society doesn't notice them. And if they do happen to notice these people, they're so different that society regards them as, hello, a wild beast or a god. So, it says that they are beneath the notice of society and they are more than human. Wow, more than human. Yeah, they're in a human body, but there's something about them that just doesn't seem right to those who are social by nature, who have been born social. So, if they're in a human body, obviously they're not a wild beast, right? So, are they demons in disguise, some of them? Are they angels in disguise, some of them? You gotta ask questions. Never hurts to ask a question. And try to use critical thinking when you ask a question. Start thinking about that question critically. Start, if you can, you know, start asking questions. Start thinking. Start thinking. Thinking is your, going to be your main thing. Anybody can ask a question. But not everybody can think about that question and find the answer. Not everybody can find the answer. And why did Aristotle get murdered for being able to see beyond humanity more than human? being able to realize that someone might be more than human. They could be a god or an angel or a demon in disguise. Anyway, something to think about. Signing off. Hope you're all doing good.